Hey folks, D-Bar here. Today I'm going to be covering Dynamic Recon Ops. Uh, it's made by MBR DMN. It is available on the Steam Workshop at this time. I will leave a link in the description. Alright, so I was really interested by this mod because I liked uh, the Dynamic Universal War system a long time ago. It was really fun to play single player in a, like kind of a mass campaign kind of thing, but there were several things that were annoying about it, um, mainly for me, that you couldn't really play co-op. Like you would launch a co-op server and either whoever you were trying to play with couldn't join, or if they were able to join, uh, the actual like scenario wouldn't get simulated correctly and you would just be doing nothing basically throughout the the little co-op experience you had so from what I hear this mod actually has a co-op a co-op feature that actually works so I'm really looking forward to trying that um, I haven't really played it yet um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys through I know it's kind of blind I mean I've looked through the menus and stuff but uh, you, you guys will see what I'm seeing for the first time and uh, we'll see how how good it is I'm just gonna play single player for now so stand with me here okay we're in so as you can see, it's got a really simple design. You know, it's not—it's nothing complicated. It—it it really is nice in that way. I think that it's better than uh, DUWS just because it's easier to set up. And you know, half the time DUWS wouldn't even spawn things correctly. Um, so already, I like this a little bit better. So we're gonna go through each of the options. I know you can't see my mouse, but you'll see uh, when I drop down the menu here. Um, so our first option is player faction. And as you can see here, you can pick from any faction that's in the game to be uh, the one you play as. And uh, it looks really nice so far because from what I see, you can even play as your uh, modded units. Uh, right here I have the Iron Front for Arma 3, uh, IFA 3 Lite is uh, installed, and these are the factions from that mod. Uh, you got, you know, World War II troops here. But for this, I'm just going to go and uh, probably pick, um, I'm going to pick CTRG because I've been playing the co-op campaign a lot lately, and I'm really used to playing as the CTRG guys, plus they're pretty cool. And uh, then from there, you can actually pick what units you want in your little your fire team. So I'm going to go ahead and be the team leader. Not that it matters, because no matter what, I'll be the team leader. But just for uh, at atmospheric purposes, I'm going to be the team leader. Uh, I'm going to pick a demo specialist, just in case the mission involves destroying something. I don't really know how that works yet. I'll pick a JTAC because they're pretty cool and an auto rifleman just to round out the group here. Gotta have that suppression. Uh, you can even, you can pick your enemy faction out of all the same factions. From what I see here you can even pick the same group but I don't think that'll work. That'll probably actually break the game so I'm not gonna do that. For now I'm gonna pick uh, Syndicate because I've been playing against them. And I think Viper is ridiculous, so I'm definitely not playing against those guys. Maybe uh, maybe on my next one I'll play against them. Uh, civilians, you just got civilians. I mean, if you have a civilian mod, maybe that'll pop up for you, but I don't, so all you'll see is the regular civilians. Um, time of day. It's really nice that you can pick. Uh, I think for most... Most people who play, they probably pick Dawn. That's your typical special operations type of uh, 
time of operation, you know. Uh, but I'm just going to pick day because it's easier to view and this is just a trial anyways. Um, pick your insertion method. I'm assuming ground is maybe you start out in a vehicle and you're driving towards the AO or maybe they just give you a bunch of vehicles, I don't know. Um, but I'm going to pick air because it seems pretty cool. AI skill, I'm assuming this is maybe medium and hard or easy and medium. Although, I don't know why they would do easy and medium, so it's probably uh, medium and hard difficulties. I'm just going to go with uh, Militia for now, just because I want to get through this quick so you guys can see what's what's going on here with this mod. Number of objectives. I'm going to just keep it at one. Uh, I, I don't know if they're if they all happen simultaneously or if uh, you complete one and then you get issued another one, uh, it'd be kind of cool if they gave you three different objectives all at once. Maybe doing one could affect how you take down the next one. Uh, but like I said, I haven't really played, so we'll have to see how it works. And AO, I'm just going to go small yet again so that I can get through here fast. Revive. All right, it says you can... Use Ace 3. If you use that, they want you to disable the revive function. Uh, so this is just basic Arma revive. Um, and it allows AI to revive each other, so that's really nice. Uh, you can also do basic start, so you'll start with your normal equipment, or you can start with arsenal. Um, for, for the sake of time, I'm just going to go with a basic start. But I'm sure that start with arsenal, you either start out... Uh, in the arsenal or they give you like a box that you can access right away and use the arsenal but yeah I'm just gonna go standard for now so I'll see you on the other side all right here we go it's time to see what this mod is made of to know a sugar company I bet you we're gonna have to destroy something. Yeah, destroy helicopter. Okay. Okay, we can see our drop zone is here. There's a resupply point. That's interesting. Uh, here we have the green, green uh, dashed border. Here is that is our AO, I believe. We should be somewhere. Here we are. We should be coming in via helicopter. We are. Perfect. That's great to see. So let's see here. Yep, we're almost on our drop zone. It gives us our task. Destroy the Syndicate M900 helicopter at marked location. Exercise caution. If the crew realize they are under threat, they might decide to fly the helicopter out of the AO. That'd be very bad. Very bad indeed. So we are going to, I see the, I see the sugar plant. Open parachute. I actually don't see the helicopter yet. I see an outpost right there. I bet you that's the helicopter because that's a helipad. I bet you it's right behind that tree. Okay. Let's see, I gotta take a quick look around my landing zone. I don't have any demo to destroy this helicopter, however, I do have a demo specialist. And they're gonna come in all crazy. See, the AI, they really are not very good in this game. Uh, especially at doing anything high speed, aka uh, a pair dropping. I guarantee they'll break their legs or something. So most likely uh, I'm going to be down my guys already. They're going to be moving very slowly at least. I don't know if the AI just doesn't know how to land uh, with parachutes or what. Oh, and it's raining. Great. 
Oh, that guy landed on a roof. They're actually not too far, so that's good. I'm going to tell them to move, move here, meters. Right. and then Understood. they should see me. I'm going to go see if they're all right. I almost half expected them to land all the way over there, and then for them to not be able to make it to me quickly. But they actually landed pretty close. Uh, let's go see. If our luck is good, they'll be okay. If our luck is bad, they'll be... Oh, he looks okay. He's running. Oh my gosh. They're actually all alright. Wow, that is fantastic. Typically, every time I've ever dealt with uh, the AI in any kind of like aerial assault kind of thing, um, they wind up breaking their legs. Well, especially on Tanoa. I haven't had the problem as much on Altus. Uh, but Tanoa is very mountainous and very jungly, obviously, so I typically have a lot of problems with it. I wonder if we should hit this resupply point. And I don't know why my Steam dashboard came up. I hit Shift to sprint, not Shift tab. Oh well. Yeah, we're going to move down this way. We might as well hit the resupply point and see what it is. I've not, like I said, I've not actually really played this, so uh, we'll see what this resupply is. If we're lucky, well, I'm maybe it changes permission, but maybe uh, maybe I'll have explosives in it since this is a mission to destroy a helicopter. You know, maybe it just contains like uh, mission-specific gear. In case you're missing it, we're pretty close. It's this way a little bit. I'm assuming I'm looking for a box of some type or um, something, maybe a vehicle, an empty vehicle. Let's see, it should be just a little bit this way. Oh, I see something. A box. Perfect. Inventory. Of course, I'm going to take a couple of these. And I'll take a kit bag. And what else will I take? Uh, an explosive satchel. Why not? Creates the biggest boom. Yeah, it's a little bit heavy, but screw it. We want big booms. We should, if I was correct... We should be uh, maybe able to see it. There it is. Don't engage, please, Jesus. Foot mobiles, 200 meters, right. Rifleman, 200 meters, front. Soldier, 200 meters, front. Come on, kill the driver. Machine gunner, man, 200 meters, just up ahead. Soldier, 75 meters, right flank. Oh God. Well, my AI uh, counterparts here decided to uh, open fire immediately from like 200 meters away. So the helicopter crew decided to jump in, which is a perfectly smart thing to do. And we've killed about a dozen people already. Uh, but you know what we uh, didn't kill? The helicopter, and that was our objective. Uh, so we'll see. It, it, we're probably going to fail the mission now if the helicopter flies out of the AO. I'm actually going to go back to the supply crate here, wherever it is. We've got a civilian congregation going on back here. Ugh. This is a disaster. And there's no, no anti-air anything. I mean, not that I thought there would be anti-air. But I wonder if the helicopter actually leaves the AO or I'm really disappointed. No, it's flying around over there. It'd be sweet if it re if it would land. Bam! 300 meters southwest. Dude, they, my, the AI in this game I, is my main problem with playing Arma. Like I 
love armor, but I just can't deal with stupid, uh, stupid AI, and I'm getting lit up. Move, move, move. I gotta get down. I don't even see where I'm getting shot from. That's a big problem on Tanoa, but I think it's kind of cool. Because in reality, you're not always going to know where you're getting shot from. And I don't know what my team is doing, and I can't run now because I've been shot. Let's see. Jesus. Call medic. Let's see. Let's see if somebody will actually help me. So basically, uh, you know, the mod seems pretty cool. I mean, it dynamically uh, made a mission up out of nothing. Uh, spawn units, uh, spawn an objective, gave me a way to take it out. Um, the only downfall was my AI, which isn't the mod's fault at all. It's, you know, it's on uh, Arma. You know, I I guess I should recommend a Waiting. mod of some kind, like an AI mod, and thank God he revived me. We might actually have a chance. Somebody else is down. This guy's down. I'm going to go for him. But yeah, uh, you know, this mod will probably be really good with uh, an AI enhancement kind of thing. I'm getting lit up. I'm gonna die before I can even revive this dude. I almost wish it would just fail the mission for us. Because the helicopter clearly flew away. I say we just move. To be honest, we are getting destroyed. It almost sounds like it's landing, but I doubt it. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm moving towards the helipad now. This is a terrible decision. Right now, I'm kind of just uh, playing to play because we've already pretty much failed the objective. Oh, I'm just bouncing back. Got to take out some of them. Go. And this guy's down. Target neutralized. Scratch one. Hostile down. Move 100 meters. Front. Copy that. I guess I gotta go find uh guy who's dying over here. Oh, they, they're okay. He seems to be just in, like, critical condition, maybe. You're not it. You're not it. You're it, actually. What's this nudge? Oh, I don't want to put a, an explosive charge on the ground. That's terrible. I still have one more explosive charge. That's another thing. Uh, the scroll wheel thing. Fall back. That Coffee. Arma 3 uses for controlling AI, or at least giving orders to AI, I should say. Because, let's be honest, there is no controlling the AI. They're a bunch of wild animals. Uh, but yeah, the scroll wheel is a little bit ridiculous because... Helicopter! Half a click! East! 
you can almost never get them to do what you want. You have to be really slow and monotonous about it. And when I'm in a firefight, I want to quickly give an order, and I wind up giving the wrong thing or whatever. I wonder if I can shoot it down with this. I'm taking this RPG-7, and we're taking all these RPGs. And we're gonna just keep taking them. You know, I said we failed the mission, but there's still a chance. We can always shoot a, a little bird out of the sky with a RPG. I guess it's possible. Probably definitely not easy, that's for sure. Stop and hover. I'll take him out. The interesting thing is you can't even adjust the distance on this. Let me actually check tasks real quick. So I still have the task to destroy the helicopter. I'm so confused. I'm very annoyed that uh okay he does he does hover from time to time i'm very annoyed that my guys open fire i should have put him on hold fire it's my fault but still the ai doesn't need to be that stupid engaging 300 meters away at a target that potentially could run away Now, I don't know what this site is set in for, so by the time this thing starts hovering, I don't even know if I'll be able to hit it. Let's see, come on. Come on. Yeah, and I'm injured, or whatever, so I can't even get a good aim on there. Should have picked like an AA specialist or something. But I guess, uh, I guess one nice thing is, you know, you don't know what the mission is going to be before it happens. So you never know. It could be it destroy a helicopter. It could be, you know, rescue a hostage. Who knows? I don't even know what kind of types of missions there are. It could be assassinate a target, you know, Go. so you don't necessarily want to put like an AA specialist on your thing every time because he's going to be slow because he's carrying anti-air weapons. Oh, there he is. Task failed. Well, I guess we just carry on. So now we have to extract. So whether you, I guess whether you uh, succeed or fail, you basically get like the same kind of results. We're gonna keep holding oh, back this way. Because if we're extracting and we're gonna choose an LZ, I'm definitely gonna go far away from here.
up. I can't wait for him all day. I don't know why the helicopter would turn its engine off. We want to get out of here quickly and I'll take 20 minutes. There we go. Spin it back up. Look, this is the AI for you. Look at him. Where's he going? The helicopter's this way. Catch you guys later. Debora. 